So in this quick tip, we're going to talk about how to rescan your plugins. So if you have an issue, plugins aren't showing up and you know they're installed, rescanning them can help. And we're going to cover that in today's quick tip. But if you haven't yet, visit logic.band and subscribe to the mail list to get a free getting started with logic course. So we're in logic. We've got a blank project loaded up here. And if I press VOM menu bar, Apple. on the menu bar, and this is where you have your file edit, etc. So I'm going to view right over to the logic menu. Logic Pro. And I'm gonna go down to preferences to view down arrow. Logic Pro, about Logic Pro, preferences, submenu. There we go, and I'm gonna view right arrow to open the preferences submenu. Preferences, submenu, 13 items general, ellipsis. And I'm gonna to jump to the end of this window, so I'm just gonna do VON. Core grid library, ellipsis. And if you're on a laptop, that's VOFN right arrow. I'm gonna view up. Plugin manager, ellipsis. And once you view up, plugin manager is right there, so I'm gonna view space on this. Plugin manager, dialog. So once we get the plugin manager here, I'm just going to do VO end once again to jump to the bottom of this window. Done. Button. And now if I VO left arrow. Full audio unit reset. Button. You have full audio unit reset. So if you want to reset and rescan all your plugins, you can just go ahead and VO space on this. Yes. Button. Do you want to reset all audio unit scan results? After the reset, you must restart Logic Pro and rescan all audio units. This may take a while. And you can select yes, which is what it's on by default. So you can just VO space. And I'm going to VO right. No. Default. Button and select no plugin manager because i don't want to do that right now so that's how you can rescan all of them however if you don't want to rescan all of them and you just need to rescan one plugin you can go ahead and select that plugin so i'm going to be your left here reset and rescan selection disable failed audio units button table row one of 140 and as we be your left we're going to see a couple tables here now the first table we come up on when we be your left is going to have the list of whatever plugins is by the manufacturer that's selected so if we view left one more time, table, no selection. This table will let us pick a manufacturer. So let's interact with this In table. table. No Apple, Black Salt Audio, Fab Filter. Let's go to Fab Filter for example here. Now if I view J, I'll jump right into that other table. In table, row one of four, name, proceed. And this is the first table we came up on, and this is the name of all the plugins for that manufacturer. So name, Pro L2. So right now I got Pro L2 selected. I just view down arrow. So if I stop interacting with this. Table. Via right. Disable failed audio units button. Reset and rescan selection button. We can reset and rescan just that one plugin. So that's pretty much it. So remember, press VOM, go to the logic menu, go to preferences. From there, go to the preference submenu and select plugin manager. Once you got the plugin manager open, jump to the end of the window with VO end. VO left over to reset and rescan all. If you want to reset and rescan all your plugins and select that option, hit yes on the thing that pops up. If you only need to reset or rescan one plugin, then VO left until you get to the table. You want to VO left again over to the second table that you're going to come up on. Interact with that, select the manufacturer. So case in point, you could select something like Native Instruments. Then VOJ to go back to the first table you came up on. Select the actual plugin there, so maybe something like Complete Control. And then you can stop interacting with the table. Via right, and you get to reset and rescan selection, and that will let you reset and let Logic rescan just that one plugin, and hopefully that will solve the issue you're having. So that's pretty much it for this one. Hope you found that useful and helpful. Visit Logic.Band and subscribe to the mail list to get a free getting started with Logic course. If you'd like to book some one-on-one -on -one time for personal training, then visit Logic.Band/training. If you'd like to make a donation to support the channel visit logic.band slash support. There you'll find you can make a one-time or ongoing monthly donation. Links to all of these will be in the description below. Until next time, as always, happy recording.